There's a new food trend gaining steam across the country and it's now arriving in the D. Yes, it's Peruvian cuisine, which is a mix of Latin American and Asian flavors. So get ready to dig in as Michelle Oliver takes us to Ferndale to dine in the D at Culantro. Today, we're going to indulge in some food from south of the equator at Culantro. Because we don't have a Peruvian restaurant in Detroit and everybody needs to know what Peruvian food is. So Betty Schul decided to show us all when she opened up Culatro in May of 2018. I came from Peru. I'm here 18 years. Here in Michigan, Peruvians didn't have a place where they can meet. And that was my main point. I love when people come and really like the food because, you know, when you don't live in your country, you miss your food a lot. I think maybe you can bring your family, you can make new friends, but you always gonna miss your food. So, what is Peruvian food? Peruvian food is a fresh food that is so popular now. It's not like a sandwich. It's like rice, meat, vegetables, fresh ve vegetables that we do every day at home. And it often features this green herb, cilantro, which in Peru, they actually call culantro. Culantro is really different than, than cilantro, but in Peru, we call culantro to cilantro. If you ask a Peruvian, what is culantro, they're gonna say cilantro. They have popular dishes like their pollo la brasa, which is a rotisserie chicken made in a special charcoal oven. And they have this steak dish called lomo saltado, we have a lot of Asian influence in our cuisine, so it's a mix between Peruvian food and Asian food. Let's see how it's made. We start with a very hot pan and some oil. We want a nice sear on it, so we're waiting for it to get nice and hot. Then we add in some steak strips and season them. Ooh! <laughs> very popular in Peru. Next comes some garlic. Muy caliente. Muy caliente. <laughs> Time for the veggies. We toss in some red onions, tomatoes, and green onions. I like to put a lot of onions in. <laughs> now for some of that Asian influence. We add in some soy sauce and red wine vinegar. It smells very good right now. Once everything is done cooking, we serve the meat over a bed of fries with a side of rice and a sprinkle of their favorite, cilantro. I love because people are learning about my country, about my culture, and my food. Dig in. Dig in? OK, I have to ask I you. Know, right? <laughs> Joining us today is Betty Schul, the owner of Culantro. And thank you for being here. Thank you. We were talking off camera about how I'm such a huge fan of Peruvian food, so we're so excited to have you. Um, let's talk about this spread you brought in. Yes, this is, we can start with ceviche. Ceviche is a dish made with raw fish in, and cooked in lemon juice. Yes. Mm. It's like the acidity in the lemon juice cooks the right. food cook, and the seafood, right? right? Nice. Cook the, cook the fish. Okay. This is lomo saltado. This dish is, have Up some, here? yes, this is, have some Asian influence. We use ginger, we use soy sauce, and of course we use rice like in most of all of our dishes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is very good. It's made with beef and saute. Nice, and that's what you made with Michelle in the yes, piece, right? Yes, yes, yeah, that's okay. one, as one of our most popular dishes. Everybody asks for lomo saltado. All right, now what's this? This is ají de gallina. We use this pepper. This is ají amarillo I brought from Peru. It's defrosting mm. because it's, it's frozen. I can find here in the United States fresh. So this is a dish made with chicken and this pepper and a different uh, mm. creamy sauce, mm. creamy sauce, that served with good. rice. Where's the pollo la brasa? Right pollo here. la brasa. This is a pollo la brasa made in a charcoal oven that I brought from Peru. Okay. Yeah, what what makes this special? Because Michelle said it is, that it's to die for. Right, it is smoky because we made in charcoal, mm. so that make it, and we marinate for 24 hours in different spices, so that make it give it an special flavor. And we serve with we serve with fries and salad too, but people like with rice and beans. Yes, mm -hmm. so that's why we bring that with rice and beans today. Yeah. And I we serve we, that with different sauces. Yes. people love the sauce. This is a ají verde, rocoto and ají amarillo. Yeah, now most uh, 
Peruvian food is served with these kind of sauces, yeah, right. right? And they yeah, just right. take we everything like. up. And I love your sauces. Right, thank I you. <laughs> so, thank and you. I want you to try this, Jason, because this chicken will change your life. All right. So I'm... get to that. And let's finish what else is on this table. What's this? This is secola norteña. It's a beef stew made in a cilantro sauce, mm -hmm. served with salsa criolla oh, on boy. top. And of course, we decorate with culantro. That's with canario beans and rice. Okay, and last, the sandwich. This is our sandwich de chicharrón o pan con chicharrón. It's a pork sandwich served with on top of sweet potatoes, fried sweet potatoes, with a, a chipotle sauce in the bread, and top it. with a salsa criolla. Nice, nice. Now, I think we've got some dessert. Is this your sangria? No, this oh. is chicha morada okay. made with blue corn. Ooh. Blue corn, pineapple, and different spices. That it's very, good. very looks good. Like wine. Very, it does look right, like wine. Right, it looks like wine, but okay. it's chicha morada. And, and this. this is alfajores. What is that? It's a, it's a, it's a Peruvian dessert. It's our cookies filled with dulce de leche. Oh, my goodness. Oh my, so that's the dulce de leche in dulce the middle? Dulce de leche in the middle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So good. So good. So remind everybody where you're located. I am in Ferndale in Woodward, 22939, two, Woodward and Nine Mile. Awesome. Right there, right in the heart of Ferndale. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. Well, thank you for being here. We appreciate you. If you want to try out Culantro yourself, we are giving away five $25 gift cards. For your chance to win, go to the Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. And we've also started a Dine in the D group on Facebook. Please join it to see all the places that we cover, get suggestions on places to, places to eat out, and of course, share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food, we'd love to have you join.